Hello, you welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Police HQ. Uh, sorry, Emergency HQ. H2. No, what the hell's the game called? <laughs> HQ Tycoon, is it? I have a total mental block as to what this game is called. This is HQ HQ, of course. Uh, we're currently playing in pause mode because there's a few of these just about to run out of time, so we're going to see if we can get on those in a minute. But first of all, I just want to double check that we've got everything. It looks like there's been a bit of a game update, which is interesting. These are now uh, labelled on the top. That's a great bit of quality of life. So we can see at a glance who's doing what. Uh, otherwise, I'm not sure anything. Nothing majorly jumping out at me. This looks new. Uh, pause menu up there to say that we're paused. I don't think that was there before. Uh, otherwise, I think we're doing all right. So let's keep an eye here. What are we running out of here? Intensive care and triage. Uh, nobody's still. We're doing fine for toilets and and uh, kitchen and all that sort of stuff. Nobody's getting too uh, bogged down there. Uh, here. Uh, we've got no evidence. The um, the police, these things here, police ones, will occasionally make evidence. Okay, and evidence is needed. Uh, a case and evidence turns into cash, basically. So that will most likely be useless until we get some evidence coming in there. Uh, also, thank you to feedback from the um, uh, from the last few videos. A lot of people saying, "Oh, you're missing this. You're missing that." To be honest with you, that that I think is a bit of a case of um, there's an old uh, adage in in sports that the spectator sees more of the game, and I think uh, I think sometimes you can get a little bit um, tunnel vision when you're actually playing, and it's a little easier when you're watching somebody else play to pick up on all the little uh, bits of nuance. So I do apologise if I'm missing stuff. I'm trying not to, but I don't think we're missing loads and loads of stuff really. I think it's just intensive care warning, triage, not enough trauma centres. So which one's a trauma sensor? Is that is that that? No, that's triage. That's trauma. I see you. Or is it? Or is trauma center a separate building? Let's have a look. Medical separate uh, item. Sorry. Orthod orthodopy. Resuscitation. Heart investigation. Trauma center. There we go. And we've missed two of those now. So we'll unlock them with some. Uh, the thing here. Can these go against a wall? Okay, well how about we bring a wall down here a little and then we can uh, put a couple of those in like that. How's that? Okay, so first things first then let's see if we can get some of these response emergencies up. And I really want to try and fill off some of these extra things now as well and make sure we've got uh, vehicles and stuff for them. So four, this one should be pretty easy to do. Four foam uh, extinguishers and four water tanks, nine firefighters. So if we send a three and a one, that's give us the four of those and space for twelve firefighters. So that's good. So let's send some of these uh, gone out. Also, they didn't have anything. That's annoying. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, oh no, we didn't need 12, sorry, we needed 9, uh, 8. So there's 9 with some trainees as well. And then the police require 8, so it's going to be the van, isn't it? The van, 2 riot gear, and 8 police, and 2 crowd control gear as well. So, so far, so we add, we add all that. Everything that we don't have, we're going to try and get this time. So, uh, 2, 4, if we've got any trainee police officers that could go out, we have. So, 2, 4, 5, 6... Seven, eight, but we've still got that was only five, so we've still got space for three crew. Nice, okay. How likely seems is to succeed? Assist. So that's telling us we've got that's new as well. It's telling us we've got surplus, we've actually got 112 percent. That's good that it goes over as well, so we can actually send it. We can actually send it with just those those six crew, and we're still going to have a hundred and two percent chance of succeeding. That seems new. Seems like the, maybe the maybe the weights have shifted a little bit. Uh, that's interesting. So breaching gear is something we don't have. So let's come out of this then and have a look if we can get breaching gear up and running. Uh, so that's going to be in utility, I would imagine. There it is. Breaching gear requires five hundred points before we lost sixty six. Okay, so we cannot do breaching gear just now. Uh, this one is there anything we don't have. No, we're all right with that SWAT gear, although it is out on an emergency uh, for six hours. Doesn't look like we're going to be able to do that one then because we don't have the SWAT gear, unless we could build a second one of those vans. Might be useful, actually. And then here, we need 20 air tanks. My goodness, that's quite a lot. And 10 water tanks. Well, so a big fire. We, ha we haven't got what we need for that either. So here, what it's telling us really is that we need another police vehicle. Uh, I'll get another garage. There we go. 
So another police vehicle. So what's that one got in it? That's got two riots and a crowd. Um, and that one's got the two SWAT. Hmm. Can't, well, we can't put that one down anyway because we haven't got what we need for it. But here, I could get another one of them down, I think. No, not quite. Um, how about then if we move all of these over one? Uh, I can't move those because they're both on a job. What about after they've gone out? Let's have a look. Can we move? Let's pause. No, we can't. It's really annoying. We can't move them because they're out on jobs. Uh, all right, well, then we'll have to miss that one then. So this one, um, we can't do that one either because we need another fire engine. So I'll tell you what, then. What we can think we can do at least is get the fire engine. So let's have a look if there's any ones that currently we could do with. So that's a ladder. That's just got a one ladder. We don't really worry about that. That one there is the big old one. That's that's four water, two industrial, four foam. Is that? Yeah. Um, that one's just three water. Pretty much carries the same. So that one's just a little bit more expensive. It does more. So let's have a... Oh, hello. Machine has been running on low FPS. I don't think that's true. Um, yeah. Let's go for that one then. And I doubt it'll be in time for that. Uh, if it is, great, but it doesn't look like it's going to be, no. Okay. Grants received. You cannot claim any more grants. Convert reputation into money. Uh, okay. Uh, final game over. You lost. Oh. Oh. That's interesting. Well, there you go then. That's that. <laughs> uh, oh, bankruptcy. Your funds are frozen. Was it really that much? Was it that much different? Um, so we've got a score of 11,043. Return to the main menu. Oh, I didn't really think that was an option. I, I'd be honest with you. If I'm really honest with you, I didn't really understand how the, uh, the money uh, worked in this one. <laughs> um, uh, you're about to enter the monarchy mod screen. Oh, that's okay. Well, as well, soon as that's all gone horribly wrong, let's have a look. Um, available mods. Main mod for Rescue HQ contains firefighter, police, and medical departments, as well as Berlin and San Francisco. So it's not really a mod, then, is it? Um, what's this about the Steam Workshop? Let's uh, bring up the Steam Workshop and have a look at it. Um, sandbox mode, equipment, auto repair, money. Uh, okay, so what's sandbox mode, then? Let's have a look at that. Oh, hello. Uh, lots of starting funds, new, big, plain map, everything unlocked. The mods add a new scenario into the game that allows you to start a sandbox mode on a plain map. You start off with 10 million funds on a 60 by 60 square map with all objects, items, vehicles unlocked. This map is intended to help you design the base of your dreams or to experiment with different room setups for the normal game. There's currently no cities around the map, which might be added at a later point. This mod can be combined with other mods. Uh, compatible. Uh, okay. Okay, that's an interesting one then. So that's good. What's what most pop most popular? It's just that one pretty much. Uh, auto repair mod requires equipment automatically. Uh, requires blah, 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 repairs equipment automatically and instantly after an emergency. Okay, that one could be good because that's um, one of the things I'm not a really massive fan of in the game. To be honest, um, is making sure you have to click all those buttons. Unlock map. What's that one? Uh, ah. Unlocks the whole map. The mod unlocks all areas of any map, so you can build anywhere you want from the start. This mod can be combined with other maps, and it's compatible. That's good, because it's these weird little uh, grass areas. Okay. No vehicle damage. Instant building. Oh, this looks like this one guy. Who is it? Let's have a look. This is one guy who's just modded the game, this monkey dude. Endeavor. Great work, Endeavor. Keep up the good work. Um, but do you know what? I, I guess we'll leave it there. God, this is going to be a really short video. See, the thing is, um, there's a lot of stuff coming out this week coming. We've got uh, Planet Coaster Ghostbusters DLC. Um, the uh, com commute them up. I forget I forget the proper name of it now. Under Overground, Underground or something like that. Uh, the Subway uh, commuter game that we're going to be playing this week on the channel as well. Obviously, loads of new Planet Zoo news coming out soon, I'm sure. Um, with E3 around the corner. So, I, yeah, actually... I I, th I think we'll leave this one here. I think it's been good fun, and I'll probably have a look at it when it heads into full release because we are still um, we're still in early access right now, right? So I think uh, when this one hits early, uh, full full release, we'll uh, 
we'll give it a go. Good stuff. Right, well, thank you very much for watching. Sorry, it's a bit of a short video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, you can give us a like. It really does help out the channel. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, suggestions, you can put them down in the comments. Fancy chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. If you want to join me with the Geekism Geeks, you can do so over on our Geekism Discord server. You'll find the link for that in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.